Bulletproof coffee, they say. Mm, I'm a bullet for you. Shut your mouth. Bulletproof coffee has been shown to increase cognitive function by 4.7%. It also has the potential to empty your bowel cavity. Problem though, I'm allergic to dairy. So what then? What then I ask of you? We're about to get creative up in this bitch. She's So may I present to you cow-proof coffee using our friend the cow. This is a stick of cow blubber. This is bound to go well. So we made some coffee earlier. I don't know how to make coffee. I'm an idiot. I just boil it. I just boil it in water for like two minutes. It's been sitting for like half an hour. I strain it in my hippie bag. This is a hippie nut milk bag. Just strain that. I just do that. And now she's waiting, waiting for my love. So what you want to do is grab a big hunk of beef blubber and then you stick it in. It. Does it melt? Are you supposed to use a blender? I don't have a blender. Oh no. What have we done? The coffee's not hot enough to melt it. So, we're gonna be here for a while. She's I feel like the blender was an integral piece to this puzzle. So there you have it. That's, that's cow-proof coffee. No. It's almost like a, a iceberg of love. The little icebergs. It's like a frozen lake. It brings you back to winter time. If you're wondering what cow-proof coffee tastes like, well, let me be no of further assistance to you. That is delicious. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Look what we get to drink today. That's going to be fantastic. Oh, I look forward to finishing that off. I just got a glimpse of my hair. What the hell was that? The whole video is this? What the shit? Shit. So let's talk a little bit about coffee consumption. I'm on this keto carnivore diet and I've been doing one meal a day and it's tough to eat enough calories in general like I'm losing weight a bit I've lost a little bit of weight since being vegan I was 68 kilograms as a vegan I'm 65.7 now so it's weird because I'm getting so much stronger the only compliment I ever receive is holy shit you look so much stronger now and it's like yes I am but I've lost weight it's weird So here's the deal. I've been off coffee for like two weeks. I feel phenomenal. I don't need the coffee for energy, but I do miss its bowel moving properties. We're still experimenting here. Sometimes things flush out and I'm just like, all right, good to go. And then other times it gets stuck. It's like a roadblock in the left hemisphere of my colon. And it's like, what are you gonna do today? I'm wiggling and shit. The wiggling doesn't help. So I figured we'd try something new. We bring the coffee back, add some calories to it, drink this, and then wait until I feel hunger. And we spread out our one meal a day a little bit. This is my first meal. It's so delicious. I look forward to this every day. Wow. You can see the coagulated blubber on top. So we add a little beef blubber to our coffee. That should bring us into the afternoon. And then we have our one meal, meaty, broccoli, in my life right now. 
and this could work. It's not only bitter because it's black coffee, but it's also disgustingly oily with a beefy hint to it. This is what my channel used to be based on, just bad tasting recipes that were likely unhealthy as well. And that's what the foundation of the Vegetable Police Network was built on and we're returning to it. It needs something. That is just bad. Monk fruit. I have monk fruit drops. Oh, this is gonna work. So we got organic monk fruit drops. Don't tell me to trim my nails. How dare you. Okay, so we throw in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Welcome to Flavor Town. Am I right? worse that's definitely worse now it just tastes like bitter black coffee with oily madness and fake poisonous sweetness what have i done so that's what i've been up to how you doing you making progress in your life do you drink bulletproof coffee i've never had it with the butter because i'm allergic so i can't do it i think i'm allergic to milk Butter maybe not, but... And you need the blender, because then it gets frothy, apparently. And that's like the key to it all. Why does mine taste so terrible? Beef blubber and black coffee. Black ass coffee. It not only tastes bad, but now I feel neurologically damaged due to the caffeine. I'm jittery and nervous now. My anxieties are rising. I'm starting to feel self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, phenomenal tips here at the Vegetable Police Network. That's what you can expect here. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. We'll see how I feel. If I'm like just so super enhanced mentally and I feel stable energy for a couple hours, I'll continue to do it. We'll figure out a way to make it better tasting. Maybe some cinnamon in there or something. I don't know. Cayenne pepper. These are my ideas. I have terrible recipe ideas. I should make a recipe ebook. It'll just be like flour and flowers okay. so post your better coffee recipes down below let me know how you do it because i just i learned from you guys i post something stupid like this and then y'all will correct me and show me no this is how you do it this will taste good and so hopefully i know coconut oil some people do that but i had beef blubber and i wanted to use it so that's what we've done here today so tell me down below is coffee healthy oh my god it's a neurotoxin I don't know. The longest lived people on earth drink coffee. It's like if you're going by the science, it's like it enhances everything. If you drink too much though, then your adrenals are taxed because coffee stimulates your adrenals to wake up. Mine were sleeping and we need it. We need it. If you want to move those bells on a carnivore diet, you better drink some coffee or something. Oh, that fake sweetness from the monk fruit. It's poison. So I think we're done for today. Now that I have coffee in my brain, I'm gonna upload my monkey strength book. I've been putting it off for some reason. I wanna make the video for it, a little landing page, but maybe I'll add that later. So be on the lookout for that. Or I've already made the video announcing it. And this is old, old news. Okay, we're done. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Unbelievable. Thumbs down if you add blended up goose intestines to your coffee. Goose proof coffee. I'll do it. Eat intestines to heal 
your intestines. That's the direction we're taking here. The Vegetable Police Network. Thanks for being a part of it. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.